Hi, I just wanted to welcome you to my studio and share a little bit of encouragement with you. I know we've had a lot of rain and sickness and it can get um, a little discouraging and I've been trying to make the best use of the time here and I'm sure many of you are as well. And so this really helped me last week. Um, I was thinking about the different functions and purposes of art and I was reading Ecclesiastes chapter six and it talks about this man that seemingly has everything. He's got, you know, the house and the kids and all the stuff and just in every worldly way, he is a very successful man, but unfortunately he can't see what's in front of him and he doesn't appreciate any of it. Um, and he's discontent and unhappy. And it says it's better to be a stillborn baby than to be this man that can't see what's in front of his face. And it wraps up this section with verse nine that says, better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of desire. This also is vanity and grasping for the wind. And it just got me thinking how important it is to not just look around, but to actually see what's in front of us and to be appreciating that, to appreciate the things and the people in our lives that we've been blessed with. Um, and so that is definitely, if you are an artist that's drawn towards, you know, still life or elevating everyday objects by creating art from them, or maybe just portraits or um, informal portraits where you see the people around you and you're kind of appreciating them through art, that is a huge gift. It's a gift um, for yourself because I feel like, you know, a lot of times <laughs> those people tend to have a lot of gratitude because they're really taking time to see and appreciate things. And then it's also part of your ministry and gift to the world is when you are faithful in this calling to be sharing um, the good things that you're seeing with other people. And then it helps them to like notice the things in their lives. And if you're an artist and you're training to see things, you're going to see things that you know, the average person that doesn't have artistic training won't be able to see. And so you use your art to kind of help them get a glimpse of this really cool world that we get to be a part of. So I just wanted to encourage you in doing, continuing to do what you do and grow your craft and your skills and to share that. And it's so appreciated and, and so needed and it's such a gift. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.